Hi everybody. I have a wig review and this is a little different. This is the new Beltrass Destiny. Um, I'm going to tell you what I like about it, what I think I'm going to have to work on with it, um, and what benefits it might have for you. Um, first off, Destiny is a center part. Let me say that the center part if you look at the stock photos, it has a picture of a cap with a center part. That cap is not this cap. This cap has a very narrow, very narrow, like very narrow, like maybe less than an inch center part, or around an inch, three quarters of an inch maybe. It has a center part. It does have a very nice lace front, and the lace front does extend down to the ear tabs, okay? Um, it is, it says it has a two and a half inch nape. Well, the nape is cut, it's sort of an undercut nape to get the shape, I do believe. Um, but the bang on this is four to four and a half. Now, this is a very wispy, PC bang. And it has a curve to it. Now, this is right out of the box. I have not done anything to this wig except for manipulate it with my hands. It has a very PC style to the bang. Uh, this piece keeps wanting to come forward. I haven't put any product in it whatsoever. Um, Destiny has zero permatease. If you are permatease averse, you might like this. And one way, one way I do believe this is an excellent style is that because it just has, it's very much a, a like a, a blunt cut bob with textured ends. It has a little bit of a round shape. Um, I think it's quite easy to put in just a few waves around the face, to feather it back from the face if you want to. Um, I would say that this is your friend <laughs> with a wig like this. I'm going to have to use it on the bang to shape it or unshape it, as the case may be. But let me turn around and show you Ms. Destiny so you can see the back of this. Okay. cute. She's cute. Um, it's a very different style for me. I haven't had a wig with bangs and a wig with bangs. I will speak. It's very late in the day. I've had a long day already uh, for quite some time. Um, but yeah, the, the bangs here are quite wispy. Now, I have a high forehead and you see how long these are. They're supposed to be four to four and a half inches um, and I have a rather high forehead. Uh, but you know, you could pull it back a little bit from your forehead, considering that the lace front is going to be disguised. Uh, you could also simply try to train them off of your face like that. You could grab something of this nature, a clip to get it off your face. Um, yeah, this... This wig, if you're not used to this kind of style, you're going to have to work with it just a little bit. Um, these bangs are very, very specific, very individual. Um, as me, it's not widely, widely appealing. Um, I would say it's more appealing than a heavy bang. Someone my age, 66, does not need a heavy bang. It's very aging. Um, but I'll tell you one thing, it's a nice little, it's a nice little ear tucker. It'll, it'll tuck nicely. This, there's, it's a very low density style. Fibers are very fine. Of course, it's heat friendly. Um, I will say one thing that I'm not sure if it's just this unit or if it would apply to all of these. Um, I don't think they put as much attention on bringing the highlights to the front, to the lace front, on this one because it has a bang <laughs> and they probably figured it would disguise it. Um, it's definitely, I don't know if you can even see, do you see? There's not as much. Now the part is over here and I'm sweeping these bangs to the side instead. I don't like curtain bangs personally. I don't like them at all. Um, so I can do this. This is not bad. And, and if I use some uh, wig safe hairspray 
or product, I could keep them over there. This piece right here is the one that keeps wanting to fall on my face. And of course, you know, you can always clip that back. I'm sorry, I know I'm close to the thing, but I would want you to see this, uh, the way it comes up to the lace front. There's not as much highlighting at the lace front on this Butterbeer Blonde, did I say it was Butterbeer Blonde? As there is in my Kona in Butterbeer Blonde or my Caliente in Butterbeer Blonde. Um, now, of course, this is, those don't have bangs like this. It's, those are wavy styles. But uh, yeah, that's, I don't know why they didn't spend as much time and much attention to the, give as much attention to bringing those highlights up. That's the one thing I don't care for. And of course, it would be a moot point if I did one of these things and just trim these bangs and reshape them with the, um, the hot tools. Uh, so just know that your, your center part is not as wide as the stock photo implies. That is not the same cap. It's just not. It's a very narrow center part. What I do like is that they have an extended lace front. Um, most of my bell tress go ear to, they just go temple to temple. This extends further. That's a very nice feature. It does not have an extended nape. Has a regular nape and slide adjusters. So, but it's extremely, now it's, one thing that confused me it says the Destiny is 3.8 ounces. <clears throat> that sounds pretty heavy to me for something that has no permatease and has very light density. I don't know. I think I would actually have to weigh that to find out. I'm not too sure that that's correct. Um, you know, take that with a grain of salt is what I would say. Uh, but the nape is two and a half inches. The nape is undercut here. It's a straight little nape right here. And I think that has to do with the shape of the wig to hold it kind of, it, it, it undercuts and it holds the length off of your neck a little bit. Keeps it, gives it that rounded shape, slightly rounded shape. I wanna turn around again and show you Destiny and see what you think. So, hmm, it's different. It's a different style for sure. It's a different style. Um, I'm not, this, the fibers are just so wispy and so, so fine feeling. They're beautiful fibers. Um, of course, Butterbeer Blonde is beautiful, but I think that they should have brought some more highlights up to the front, even with the bangs, because what's the point of having a lace front if you don't do it right, correct? You see what I'm saying? Um, now, that said, it's not terrible. Don't get me wrong. This is not, this is not terrible. See this? It is not terrible, okay? It's not terrible. It's just not as highlighted at the lace front as my other two units in Butterbeer Blonde. So, uh, hope this helps you make a decision. I do think this is be easier to style. I don't like styling wigs. I don't like curling wigs. I that's one reason I don't really like heat friendly wigs. If you're going to have a heat friendly wig, Beltress is the one to have. They hold up so much better than Raquel Welch and now Gabor's doing going heat friendly. Um, I would love to have had the Trend Alert in Gabor, but they ruined for me. They ruined it by making it the, the Raquel Welch heat friendly fibers, which I really don't like. Um, Beltress fibers are so much nicer and they so have have a better longevity in my opinion, because I've worn a lot of Beltress wigs lately and uh, they're just, the fibers for heat friendly, excellent. Uh, even my Stella, <laughs> my Ellen Villa's heat friendly wig, I mean, worn Stella a lot and it's easy to untangle the nape. It just, it's wearing beautifully. So, um, what do you think about Miss Destiny? Uh, I don't know if she's my destiny. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Uh, this kind of does look like my hair. When I got married at 19, this kind of does look like my hair. I had a had a bob like this and had a little bit of a bang. It's kind of like that. Of course, I'm not 19 anymore. 
Anyway, I hope this is helpful for some of you thinking about whether you want to purchase this or not uh, because it looks very different depending on who's wearing it. And uh, I've even had, there's been some people come out and said they just don't like it. Um, if you're used to wearing things like Kona, you know, or any of the, any of the Bel, uh, Beltress uh, wavy curly styles, you may not like that. Um, but it's a nice change. It's like a, it's like the, it's like the Kona, but straightened out. It's, it would be about the same length. About. This is a little shorter than that. But anyway, one more time, and I'm going. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.